So I said to Kelly that I wanted to sit down and just kind of hash it out. My goal was to say, let's just make nice nice. I mean, I just want you to hear me out. I, last time you asked me to meet you and I sat there and I listened to everything you had to say. I don't like you. I don't think you're funny. I don't think you're charming. Okay, this is you. This is me. We don't talk. You basically could have given me the finger and it would have like gotten all the points across without having that conversation. So I was definitely taken aback. So I would like to clear the runway. I mean, no, that's and I'm flattered by that. I think that's really important. I mean, there's an underlying tension that has started way before. I've met you probably like 10 different times. Every time that I've seen you somewhere, it's been like you don't know me or that you've met me for the first time and or just don't acknowledge me. And to me, that's like very just hurtful and disrespectful. And if I see you, I've always said, hello, how are you? Just because I don't have the time to like talk to you for more than a couple seconds. No, no, you haven't said hello. No, then I say hello to you all the time. I'm not going to go into this because I'm not. I don't really know you. And I've met you many times, but I've met a thousand people many times. And that doesn't mean that I don't like them. I it wasn't mean concerned that... if you liked me. I was concerned about the normal saying hello to a person that you've met before. If you're insulted, if you think that I'm not saying hello to you, then I'm sorry and I apologize and I don't have no intentions to you know, make you feel bad. Why would I intentionally try to hurt somebody? For what reason? I, I don't know you either. I have no idea. Exactly. And the last thing you said to me was that you were up here and that I was down here. And I thought maybe that's why you hadn't said hello to me at events. Because you thought that you were better than me or something. What? She was talking about a lot of stuff and I had no idea what she was talking about. Have you ever heard of a mountain and a molehill? Making a mountain out of a molehill? Yes. Okay, that's what you're doing right now. I've never been attacked by anyone before, and I just was very, I was really insulted. Do you think I've ever been attacked the way that last no, time? No, but you were telling me about your boyfriend, and you're this, and you're that, and you think I'm high. And it's just like... I think you're what? No, you're like, oh, you think you're so high, and I... I I'm, didn't say I think you're so high. You just said that two seconds ago. I, I've, I didn't say, I never said I think you're so no. high. I don't know if the first sit down with Kelly was actually Kelly, or it was an imposter, because I don't think that Kelly knows that she said those things to me. Because when we were talking in Allie's room, it was like I was making all this up. Bethany, look. You said to me, stop. I'm up here and you're okay, down wait, here. You need to stop. Okay, this I situation. I don't need to do anything. No, I... we are sitting on Allie's bed. This girl is an adorable girl. You're a beautiful woman, okay? You're super smart. You've got so many things going on. I'm not going to indulge you in this, but I will tell you one thing right now. If you have something to ever, ever I talk to. No, oh, the... stop, stop. Okay, no, 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 just stop, Bethany, stop. Listen, You're not in no. charge of me, and I don't need you to indulge me in anything. But Sometimes you, know you think that no, you are Bethany, in charge of this conversation. Bethany, Bethany, okay, we're adults, okay? That We are adults. If you have something to talk to me about, you can come and pull me to the side this and say, I don't like right it, now. and I'm, I'm, I'm This talking. is what we're doing right now. You, this conversation's finished, okay? Thank you so much. I love the fact that you said, you know, that you wanted to clear the air, and it's clear. But I'm not going to fight with you about clearing I'm the air. I'm not arguing. I just don't need you to direct me oh in how I am, what I'm supposed to say. Oh, my God. Wow. Seriously. Seriously. It's Bethany. like, I really get you worked up. I don't know what no, happens No, because you're just, you. you're, you're like trying to like poke me. And there's I'm really a, not trying to poke you. I came here to say. Because there's nothing to talk about. This conversation doesn't mean anything to me. It, it makes no impact on my life whatsoever. Like, well, it meant enough for you to call me across town to tell me everything that you felt about me and how you were Because be you friends. don't talk about me. You don't say rude things in front of other people. You just don't. Period. So you don't you have anything... say rude things to me in front of no people. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything well, at all. Well, then what were you doing last time when you because said Because you me, attacked me. I didn't, atta I, I didn't attack you. You attacked me. You brought me Bethany, the first thing you, you said was... you attacked me at a charity meeting in front of your peers. I mean, it's like... This I, didn't, is like I didn't attack you. I'm not going to go into this. Look, okay, you know well, what? We're here, and we're working together, and you look adorable in that Zach dress. I was like, what the hell is that about? Who cares about my dress? We don't come from the same planet. We don't speak the same language. That's really it. Perfect. OK. It is okay. what it is. OK, good. Thank you. And I just wasted my time. There's nothing to resolve. There was no issue. It was going to go nowhere. It was going to be uh, another escalation. I just oh, would yeah. like a glass of wine, yes. I forgot to get wine. Why don't I go to get the wine? You guys hang out. And cause I'm going to go. I want to get a chai latte anyway. So you guys hang out, and I'll go. And so Kelly went to do the wine run. There needs to be wine if Ramona's coming. Ramona has to have an IV Pinot Grigio to her arm the minute she walks in my house. Otherwise, you know, she's just going to beat me up.